Roy Tunt, Video Diary, Day 3, Correct Procedure for Feeding the Birds. So, uh, I really have no particular fondness for the dog. Uh, I view it as a pest. That is not something that I would say about birds. Now, it's very important if you're trying to attract the right sort of bird to the garden that you, you Alfred, please, please depart that you use the most appropriate seed mix that's available. This attracts the nuthatch, the siskin, the bullfinch, the dunnock, the greenfinch, the collared dove. The bird that's eluding me the most is the sociable plover. And that's why I suppose I have a particular fascination with them. Because I lift the lid off this, I place the funnel in the top, and then, oh, that's extremely annoying, uh, the sociable plover as opposed to the uh, golden plover. The golden plover you'll find on plains in South Africa and on the sort of Etruscan peninsula. There they are, you see. Take it slowly, there's no need to rush. As you can see, they're coming through very nicely. Birds, for me, have a grace, they have a sociability, and they have a purpose. Ah, you see. That shouldn't be in there. They pour through. They pour through the... No, I have here my fully stocked feeder. What I'm going to do is take us on a little journey around the garden. So what you need is a little branch there just to hold it. That's perfect. And now the bird can come and perch. Mm-hmm.